Oh no. Uh, that's not great. Ah. You know what? Let's uh let's do a drawing instead. Alright, so I've got this brand new moleskin sketchbook here. And we're gonna be doing uh pages one and two. I like to spread it out across both pages there. And then I'm trying out this uh Muji pen. I've tried it a little bit already, but um I haven't done anything big with it yet so uh, it seems like a decent pen especially for the price so the idea behind these sketchbook videos is that uh, each episode is just going to be a simple concept um, not necessarily a tutorial but maybe just inspiration um, just trying to show you what you can do um, with a simple concept. Um, I think of a sketchbook as almost a journal rather than, you know, like finished art pieces. This is kind of what I use to practice and meditate, get things off my mind. Yada, yada, yada. So, yeah. But yeah, today's uh, concept is logs. Um, just gonna draw some logs. I decided to lay them out in kind of a landscape here, as you can see. I'm going with a, a sort of swampy look. Um, or maybe alien, I don't know. I'm just kind of going with the flow here. No sketch, no nothing like that. Just, just straight to the doodle. Um, you can do it however you want. You can sketch it out. It could be all in pencil sketch. Um, you know, whatever you want. Just to, this is my um, first uh, concept. So, yeah. And then for each episode, I'm going to do a different like theme. Um, I haven't really decided on what theme to do next, but yeah. Anyways. Um, the Muji pen is, it's nice. Um, it's a really good pen for the price. I think it was $15. I imagine you could get it for cheaper than that. I didn't really shop around. Um, it's not my favorite pen. If I'm being honest, it's got a, um, it's got a really thin grip on it. Um, so for whatever reason, I don't feel like I'm like fully in control of the lines, um, like I do with some of my other pens. So, uh, I'll probably be switching back to my Twisby after this one. I might give it another shot later. I was kind of thinking about getting some like surgical tubing or something and, and putting it, uh, um, around the grip and maybe the body of the pen to kind of bulk it up a little bit. See if that made a difference. Or uh, I could try like a, some, uh, you know, Coban, if you know what that is. It's like a stretchy medical tape kind of thing um, that sticks to itself. I think just doing like straight up tape would, you know, the adhesive would get kind of like gross and stick to your fingers and be hard to take off the pen afterwards. So. I don't think I'm going to mess with that, but um, but we'll see. I really like my Twisby Eco, and uh, you know, I'm probably going to keep drawing with that until you know the grip section breaks or the nib starts to suck or I don't know, or I find something better. Um, I'll definitely be trying different pens um, throughout this this whole uh, sketchbook series and uh, you know just I want I want it to be less about the the pens and the paper and the ink and more about just you know inspiration 
Um, you know, like what what to draw when you don't know what to draw, sort of stuff. Um, so, so yeah, uh, I just want to show what you can do with super simple, like basic concepts, like some logs. You know, like it doesn't. You know, it's not a super complex idea or anything, but, you know, we get this kind of weird looking land landscape going on. And, um, but yeah, like I said, you don't have to like, like if you're doing your own um, sketchbook and, you know, you decide you want to do the same like theme, like say you want to do, a, you know, logs on your first um first couple pages like you could do it all sorts of different ways like you know just you could draw logs from different directions you could make geometric patterns out of logs I don't know like it doesn't even have to be logs you could do you know whatever simple concept you feel like at the time um, I like the uh, I like drawing logs because of uh, um, the max um, it was a comic book back in the 90s, I think. And it, it got made into a uh, TV show called The Max. And um, the artist who drew the comic book, he drew... I just remember looking... Uh, I forget his name, but I, I remember looking at his his drawings and he'd have The Max. He was like the main character, like perched on top of a, a log. And uh, it was like this like kind of mossy, swampy thing with like little bits of grass sticking out they i don't know they just always had this like he drew really cool logs which is a weird thing to like you know um i guess pay a lot of attention to but i mean if it's cool it's cool right it doesn't matter if it's a log or a, you know the main hero um but yeah so i was kind of inspired by that um I forget his name. I'll, I'll flash it on the screen here, um, yeah, um, if I can find it afterwards. Should be pretty easy to look up. But yeah, I feel like this drawing. Uh, I was kind of skeptical at first of how it was coming along, and then closer I got to the end here, the more I was like, oh yeah, I actually really like that. I like the way the kind of alien moss blobs look on the side of the the big log there um and i was experimenting with some more cross hatching in the darker areas so um i think that turned out really nice um i'll definitely be using that technique more in the future but yeah that's kind of the point of it right to learn um you know, have some happy accidents and maybe replicate some of the stuff you've done in later pieces, right? All right. Uh, thanks for tuning in, and uh, yeah, I will see you on the next one. All right, bye. Well, that's not great.